Well, everything we've done to this point has been dealing with logs of a specific base. What we want to talk about now is how we can change from one base to another using logs. And so we're going to create what's called a change of base formula. And we're going to start by looking at a specific example. So suppose we have y equals log 2 of 5. And this isn't an easy number to get. This is an irrational number because the power 2 5 is not a power of 2. So our answer is going to be irrational and we can't find it directly and we can't use our calculators yet because we don't have a log base 2 button. Some of you might, but many of you don't. So here's the process that we go through to do this. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to convert to an exponential. And by the way, this is the process that derives the formula. Once we get to the end of this, we'll have the formula, just like when we did derive the quadratic formula. So we're going to take our base, and we're going to take our power that's off of it, and we're going to set that equal to our result. So we get 2 to the y equals 5. Well, we now have a problem. The y that we're solving for is in the power. But if I convert back to a logarithm, I haven't gone anywhere. So what we're going to do instead is remember our basic rule of equation. Whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So let's take the log of both sides. And we're going to take the common log of both sides. And then we can use one of our properties of logarithms to take our power and move it from the power back to the baseline. So my y comes out as y log 2 equals log 5. Remember that the log 2 and the log 5 are numbers. So doing this, we can divide both sides by one of those numbers, specifically the log 2, to get it away from the y. And for our result, we get y equals log 5 over log 2. And here's a nice answer that we can use a calculator to find. So let's get our calculator out. And we're going to take log of 5 and divide that by log of 2. Get equals, and our result is approximately 2.32193. 2.32193. And again, we're going to round it eventually, and so I'm just choosing five decimal places. The tests and the homework will be specific on how many decimal places they want you to round to. But we're now ready with this to have our result and to know what power this is. And notice this makes sense because 2 squared is 4 and 2 cubed is 8. So 5, which falls somewhere between those, has to be somewhere between 2 and 3, which it is. So it, it fits what we would logically assume. And we're a little more specific, so we know exactly, or roughly, where it's at. We know exactly where it's at here. This is an exact answer. But that's not easy to graph on a number line. This is what we'd graph on a number line to know where it goes. So here's the formula in its fullest. If we have log base A of M, this is equal to several things. Here's the general case. Log base B of M divided by log base B of A. Notice that the base goes to the basement. And so B can be anything we want it to be. What we're going to use the most in this class, and the most in the real world, is put it into something that our calculators can use, which is the common log of M over the common log of A, or the natural log of M over the natural log of A. Either of these is perfectly acceptable. So, let's just show one more example of using the change of base formula. Suppose I want to know what the log base 3 of 10 is. Well, I'm going to choose, especially since I have a 10 as one of my two pieces, well, if it was my base, I'd be able to just plug it in my calculator already, but since my number that I'm taking the log of is a 10, I'm going to choose the common log to take advantage of that. So I'm going to take the log of 10 over the log of 3. Notice the 3 goes downstairs. Well, I don't even need a calculator to know that the log of 10 is 1, because what do I raise 10 to to get 10? 1. Over log 3, so then I can bring my calculator back up, and I can do 
1 divided by the log of 3, it equals, and it's 2.0959. 0.959. That's roughly my answer, and again, just to make sure this fits, 3 squared is 9, and 3 cubed is 27, and the 10 falls between them closer to the 9 than the 27, so it's going to be a low decimal after 2. And that's the change of base formula.